right, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to flush an abscess uh, wound or an abscess hole post-surgically. This is Chloe who just had um, an abscess on her ear base. Um, you can see here that there is an open hole that is oozing. There's a little bit of uh, liquid uh, sang serosanguinous blood dripping out, which is what we want. We have little four sutures holding it open so that it stays open. We do not want it closing. If it closes, it won't be able to drain and it will just swell up again like another big abscess. So if we're sending you home with instructions on how to manage this, we're gonna send you home with a bottle of Betadine solution that's gonna look like this with a label on it. It's concentrated, so you're going to be mixing it with water, so it's you know like an iced tea color, about one to 20. I like to use warm water because I think it's comfortable for the animals. And then you're gonna be given a little catheter tip and a syringe. So all you're gonna do um, is take your catheter tip, draw up some of the betadine solution, and you're gonna just really gently irrigate the area. And the goal is to, if you can, actually get in the hole. And clean and flush. And you're gonna do this multiple times to really try to get in there. Now sometimes you might find that this um, skin starts to fill up underneath here and you can and should push the surrounding tissue area here to try to express any pus or liquid that's trapped in there out. And you do this over and over so that we really get it clean and we really get a good ah i never said they were gonna like it it can't be comfortable you know we're touching an open incision that was an abscess so we got to be careful and go slowly and just work with our bunnies and make sure that they're not in too much discomfort Oh, she doesn't like when I push it. I'm sorry, my sweetheart. This rabbit is on pain management. She has been given multiple different kinds of pain management. It is still a little uncomfortable. That's the nature of, uh, of what this abscess disease process is. When I'm done flushing, I'm going to just take some nice gauze and I'm going to clean the area. Rabbits do not like to be dirty. They don't like drippy, bloody things hang, you know, off of them, off on their fur. It does stain a little. This bunny's white, so you can see some of the fur is a little brown. That's from the betadine. And that's all you need to do. And it, at the end, it should be clean. There should be no signs of pus. And you can give them a treat.